Hi everyone, I'm Saga, and happy Creepypasta Day. Today we're going to be talking about a popular video game creepypasta titled Ben Drowned. Now this creepypasta is based off the uh, popular Nintendo 64 video game called The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Now this is a fairly long creepypasta, so I will only be giving you guys the journal details, that way I don't make a video that's about like 30 minutes long. I'd rather keep this video under 5 minutes. So don't worry, I will leave a link to the actual creepypasta itself down in the description below, as always. That way you guys can read it for yourself and get all of the questions that you might have answered. That being said, let's go. This creepypasta all started when a user on 4chan posted on a video game thread that he was having a little bit of trouble with his copy of Majora's Mask. He got this copy at a yard sale, and it was given to him by a creepy old man who gave it to him for free. Now, not really thinking much of it, um, the user went home and started playing the game immediately. As soon as he started up the game, he noticed, however, that there was already a save file from the previous owner, titled Ben. Now, this game was already three quarters of the way complete, and not wanting to complete somebody else's game, he decided to start his own game with the title Link. After all, that is the main character's real name, and he wanted to keep up with the tradition. However, as he started playing the game, he noticed that every now and then, the NPCs would start calling him Ben instead of Link. Thinking that this was some kind of weird glitch or something, he went back to the start menu and deleted the save file Ben. After this, the NPCs would not refer to him by any name at all. Not Link, not Ben, not anything. So he thought this was a bit strange, but tried to ignore it, thinking it was just a damaged copy of the game and he'd get a better game later on. So as he continued to play, uh, he attempted the fourth day glitch. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a glitch in Majora's Mask where you can kind of trick the game into giving you an extra day of gameplay to do whatever it is you want to do. After completing this glitch, everything kind of seemed to go wrong. Um, his character was ported to the end boss battle where Skull Kid was there waiting for him which is strange because he's not supposed to be there. Then later, he was ported back to Clock Town. However, Clock Town was all strange and off. Many of the textures were missing, and the song playing was a version of the Song of Healing played backwards over and over and over again. The player tried to pour out of this town, but couldn't. Um, and then a statue of Link appeared in front of him. He tried to hit it, he tried to do anything, nothing worked, no interactions were available, and the statue seemed to follow him, almost like how a weeping angel does in Doctor Who. It would only move when you weren't looking directly at it. Now this seemed really weird. And then all of a sudden, on his screen flashed Skull Kid, screaming at him. Well, obviously the player kind of freaked out at this, not knowing what was going on, and kept running all over Clock Town, trying to escape, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Until finally he just turned off the game. The next time he turned on the game, however, his save file was gone. And was replaced by a save file titled Your Turn. Later, this save file was also deleted and replaced by a save file titled Drowned. Now, in this save file, things start off as normal, things seem to be going okay, whatever. But then all of a sudden, after playing for a little bit, none of the text starts making any sense. And he plays one of the songs, and a simple text comes up that says, you shouldn't have done that. From there, every time he tries to activate any type of text prompt or anything, the only text that will appear is, you shouldn't have done that. Whether he be trying to read a sign, or talk to the, the happy mask man, Whatever, it only says, you shouldn't have done that. Then, the game cuts out and starts over, and his original save file of Link is replaced, as well as the save file of Ben. After this, it is said that the, this user moved out of the dorm, left everything, but his roommate found file claiming that Ben had taken over his computer, and that was communicating to him through the online chat called Cleverbot, where you can talk to a computer. Now, in the creepypasta, you can actually read the entire chat. It's really creepy, really strange, really weird. So, like I said, I'm only giving you guys the general details of this one because I do think it's a really interesting one and I really want you guys to actually read it for yourselves. 
Uh, there's also YouTube links in that creepypasta to the videos of how the game glitched out and you can actually see for yourself how the game starts going strange and weird and everything. So I really suggest you guys check this one out because it's honestly a creepy one and having never played Majora's Mask myself kind of makes me hesitant to play it. Although I don't plan on getting my copy from a creepy old man. That being all said and done, that's the end of this episode. Um, I want you guys to know that I have made a Facebook fan page, officially. I will leave a link to that in the description below if you want to give us a like. This way I can give you guys updates on videos coming out much easier. Um, that's about it. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for a video you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. Give us a like and be sure to subscribe. As always, I'm Saga, and this is the end of our tale. Bye!